Yo, what's up guys? Victor Kamanga here with another Everything Technology video. I'm here in Philly for the week shooting with an organization that does outreach in the community. Check them out, links will be down in the description, but that's, that's not a plug. I'm just, I'm pretty excited to be shooting here. But that's not what you guys clicked on this video for. We're gonna be checking out some of my favorite features on Android 11 after playing around with it for the past couple of days. Let's get right into this video. Conversations across messaging apps are now moved to a dedicated space in the notification section. This makes ongoing conversations really easy and the messages don't get lost with miscellaneous app notifications. You can also prioritize conversations to certain people. This means whenever they message you, you can easily have a quick look and respond. Another feature that I really like is bubbles. For some reason, I couldn't get this working on my Pixel 4a. Maybe I'm using this wrong. But anyway, these allow messages to pop up just like Facebook Messenger notifications. As users, you can now respond to important conversations without having to switch back and forth between messaging apps and other applications on your phone. Android 11 for the Google Pixel finally has a built-in screen recorder. So now you can easily capture and share what's happening. You have the option to record sound from the microphone or from the device itself, or even both. And you can do this without needing any third-party applications installed. This makes recording games and stuff a lot easier, and it saves the video in the best quality possible. Very glad to see this feature here. We now have a new power menu that allows you to quickly access your connected smart devices. By just simply long pressing the power button to reach a new menu, you can now control connected devices like lights and smart lock with just a tap. You can even access your credit cards and completely control all your home devices. This is very convenient for somebody who's consistently using Android Pay or even just has a lot of smart home accessories. Media controls have been redesigned and now they're placed consistently in the quick settings menu. This allows you to quickly change the media playback using a simple shortcut. You're also able to do this on the lock screen, which is pretty nice. Before I move on to the next feature, I want to stop and thank our sponsors for this video, VPN Unlimited by Keep Solid. This has been my go-to VPN lately. As somebody who travels a lot and is always on the go, I value the security of VPN Unlimited. It allows me to stay anonymous and untracked on any website from any location. They also encrypt your personal data, which protects you from prying third parties and hackers. With over 500 high-speed servers across 80 plus locations all over the world, you can expect a reliable and fast connection using VPN Unlimited. Links will be down in the description. With Android 11, you can now connect to Android Auto without any cables. This requires a compatible head unit, of course, which must support 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I can see this feature being very useful for somebody who has a vehicle with wireless charging enabled. All you have to do is place your phone in the charging pad and boom, not only are you charging your phone, but you're also connected to your car. Android 11 allows users to grant single use, one-time permission access to apps that request access to things like your microphone, camera, or even location. The next time an app needs to access these specific features, it needs to request these permissions once again. This update also allows you to create a reset timer for permissions. So after using an app and allowing it with sensitive permissions, it monitors the usage and automatically resets a permission for the app if the application hasn't been opened in a very long time. Live View on Pixel devices allows you to share your live location to your friends to easily meet up in real life. If allowed with your permission, by simply tapping on the icon, you can get live directions in real time. The AR experience makes meeting with your friends very interactive, and I can't wait to use this with one of my friends. Your device can now make app suggestions based on your daily routines. This means your phone will recommend apps you use at different times of the day, like the Gmail app when you're responding to emails maybe in the morning, Spotify at night when you're listening to music to end the day, or even social media in the noontime when you're on your lunch break. This is a really cool feature. With Android 11, users can now schedule the dark theme using one of two modes. You can either schedule a dark theme to turn on or off when the sun sets or rises, or you can have it set to a custom schedule for dark mode activation if you wish. This is a great feature if you fully utilize a dark theme mode on your Android device. This is one of the coolest features on Android 11. So if you have apps open in the multitasking menu, you can screenshot it right away. 
And after screenshotting it, the new menu allows you to edit your screenshots on the fly and share it on other platforms. It kind of reminds me of the screenshot feature on iOS devices, but we're not gonna get into that. And those are my 10 favorite features on Android 11. This was a very incremental update, but it did add many features that were desperately needed on Android. Overall refinements and performance upgrades are also a plus. And that is it. Thank you for watching this video. This has been Victor Kamanga. Looking forward to seeing all of you in the next one. Bye.